how to create the fake videos for free without any limits for that what we need is face fusion in this video we are going to learn how to install face fusion and its requirements in windows although the video is mainly focused on windows but the program is available for linux and mac so let's get started so the first thing we need to do install ffmbeg so let's see how we can do that open our browser search for ffmbeg so here we have the search results open the link called www.ffmbag.org here we go and there is a button for downloading ffmbag click on it now we are in download space scroll down as you can see there is an option for downloading ffmbag for windows here we got two links well you can use any link you want for downloading ffmbag i will click on the gan.dev link now we are in gan.dev scroll down and look for get master builds under the get master builds there is an option called ffmbag iphone get hyphen full dot 7 z click on it and after a while the download will get started well i'm not going to download it because i already have one and you should do it after finishing download go to the downloads folder here is my ffmbag right click and start the file also if you are using windows 10 or older you can use winrar or 7 zip for extracting 7c files after finishing extraction open the extractor ffmbag folder and inside there is a folder called bin if you open that folder you can see the x files of ffmbag next we will rename the parent folder to ffmbag then we are going to move this folder to c drive so cut or copy the folder go to the c drive right click and paste then open the bin folder located inside the ffmbag folder then click on the address bar right click and copy the path next we have to add this path to the environment variables so open the start menu search for environment variables click on edit the system environment variables a new window will come up click on environment variables another window will pop up under system variables search for path sell the path click on edit a new window will come up click on the new button right click and paste the path or you can manually type the path or folder where ffmbeg is located just type c colon backslash ffmbeg backslash bin then press enter well i don't need two paths so i am going to remove one after doing the edit press ok then ok again then another ok now we need to check if ffmbeg is working or not just open command prompt then type ffmbeg press enter if ffmbeg is working we can see the version of ffmbeg and some error message as well as you can see if the ffmbag is working let's move to the next step installing miniconda well if you are already using a miniconda then you can skip this step first open our browser and search for miniconda here we have the search result click on the link that says doses.anaconda.com then scroll down and search for downloads here we got downloads for windows mac and linux choose windows installer 64 bit after a while the download will get started also this time too i have already downloaded miniconda installer so i'm canceling it but you should download it after downloading miniconda go to the downloads right click on it and start the installer choose next click on agree then most of the time i am going to use the default options after finished installing miniconda let's move to the next step installing git so open our browser and search for git here we are and click on the git hyphen scm.com scroll down and you will see there is a download button for windows let's click on it now we are on another page click on the option called 64 bit for windows setup after seconds the download will get started and this time too i have already done it so i am cancelling it you should definitely download git installer after finishing the download open the git installer and this time too i am going to use the default options ok i finished installing git let's move to the next step creating a virtual environment using conda so open the start menu search for anaconda prompt and click on it here we go there is our anaconda prompt let's see how we are going to create a virtual environment using conda just type conda space create space hyphen n space name of the virtual environment we are going to create here i am going to use face fusion then type face fusion press space type python equal 3.10 then press enter then wait for a while Conda will ask for installing some packages, type Y, press enter and wait until the Conda creates a virtual environment. 
So Conda has finished creating a virtual environment. Let's see how we can activate that virtual environment. Type Conda activate then name of the virtual environment. Here we named it face fusion so let's type face fusion then press enter now that we have activated our virtual environment let's move on to the other steps if you are using a nvidia graphics card you can install cuda toolkit qdnn for maximum performance well i have one so let's see how we can install it also if you have an uh, intel processor and it has support for open Vino, you can install open Vino packages by running this command pip install open Vino equal equal 2024 dot 2.0 moving on let's copy this command and run it in anaconda prompt also you can type it manually conda install cuda toolkit equal 11.8 space cute nn equal 8.9.2.26 space conda hyphen forge colon gpu till equal 1.4.0 after typing it or pasting it press enter because these files are so big i got some backups for it so i am going to install it from my backups so i am going to type conda install then drag and drop my backup inside terminal and then press enter wait for a while conda will install my packages then again i will rerun this command to check if something is missing if it is conda will install it well it looks fine let's move on to the next step installing srlib hyphen wapi also, I have to tell you this, on Face Fusion page, this says to install Israelib WAPI, you should be using this command, but unfortunately, it does not work for me, so we should be running this command. Let's copy and paste this command inside Anaconda prompt, or you can manually type it, conda install hyphen c conda hyphen forge space hyphen y space Israelib hyphen WAPI. After typing it, press enter, then wait for a while. So Conda has finished installing Isalip. Let's move on to the next step, cloning Face Fusion using Git. Let's see how we can do that. Let's clear this Anaconda prompt by typing CLS and pressing Enter. Then let's copy and paste this command inside Anaconda prompt. Also, these commands are in description, so you don't need to type it by yourself. You can copy and use it. Also, you can manually type it git space clone space https colon double forward slash github.com forward slash face fusion forward slash face fusion then press enter also if you have an unstable internet the clone might fail so what you can do next just use google collab let me show you how we can do that so first open the browser search for google collab open the google collab page and click on new notebook Come to the runtime then copy and paste this command that start with exclamation mark git uh, or you can type it manually inside Google Collab cell. Okay, I forgot to come to the runtime. Let's click on connect. After a while, runtime will be connected. Let's click on this play button for cloning face fusion. We got some warning. Don't worry, click on continue anyway. After cloning is finished, click on the folder shown on the left side. As you can see here, we got face fusion. Next, we are going to save it by running another command. Create a new cell, copy and paste this command, or you can manually type it exclamation mark save space hyphen r space face fusion dot save space face fusion, then press on the play button. After creating a save file, click on refresh. Now we can see there is a save file here. Click on three dots, then click on the download button. After finishing the download, we can disconnect our runtime. Then let's minimize this browser. Go to the downloads. As you can see here, I got two Face Fusion downloads. One is an older backup. I don't need it, so I'm going to delete it and extract the new one. After finishing extraction, we are going to move the folder to home folder so it will be easier to find in Anaconda prompt. After moving the folder, we can go back to the Anaconda prompt so that we can change our working directory to the face fusion directory we just moved so let's see how we are going to do that just type cd which means change directory then press space type face fusion and press enter after changing the working directory we can move on to the next step installing other requirements so that face fusion can run properly there is a file called requirements 
txt inside face fusion in that file there's a list of packages we need to install let's see how we are going to do that just type pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt after typing press enter after installing requirements we can move on to the next step installing face fusion for that we have to run this command python space install dot py after typing press enter after a while it will show some options under set the variant of onyx runtime to install you can change these options using arrow keys on your keyboard so what option should be using if you are using a cpu for the fake you should be using the default option if you have a nvidia graphics card that supports cuda then you should be using cuda 11.8 although 12.2 is available for some reason it does not work for me and if you have any intel processor that supports open window then you should be using open window option if you have a graphics card that support directml then you should be using directml make sure those packages related to directml is installed so here i am going to use cuda 11.8 then press enter and again wait for a while until it finishes installing finally we have installed face fusion now we can run it by typing python space run dot py and pressing enter after running the command the face fusion will download some models that are uh, needed for creating the fix so be patient and also I have some backups for models so I am going to copy those models to face fusion folder then I am going to run this command in anaconda prompt type python space run dot py and press enter and wait for a while if face fusion is working it will show a link that we can open in any browser here is our link let's copy and open it in browser here we go well there are a lot of options here let's look at the main two options source and target the source means what photo you want to use as a replacement face and the target means what video or photo you want to swap faces also in here you can choose execution providers as i said before you can use cuda for maximum performance so i am selecting cuda anyway let's import a source photo I'm going to use my own photo. I will select my photo, then click open. Now let's choose a target. For this, I'm going to use a video. Let's select the video and click open. Let's scroll up. As you can see here, the face of a person in the video has changed. Also, using this handle, we can see other frames of the video. Well, we can call it playhead. Also, if your video has a lot of faces, then select the face that shows under reference faces. So which means using the playhead and reference faces we can select which face should get replaced. Let's try another video. Here I got a vertical video. Let's select it. As you can see it looks almost perfect. Now we can move the playhead to see other faces. Here is a face of a lady. Let's choose her face under reference face. Well look at it. It looks good. As you can see, it looks almost perfect. Well, there are a lot of options available here that you should try and check how that affects face swap. Also, there is an option for enhancing face swap. It is possible that sometimes your face looks blurry, then you should try a face enhancer. Anyway, let's see how we can export our video. If you scroll down, there is an option called start under output. Click on it and wait until the video gets processed. Also, you can see the progress by switching to the Anaconda prompt. Well, it is finished. Let's check the results. Here we go. Either way, we can play this video in browser or by clicking on the small download button, we can download it. Okay, download has finished. Let's play this video in any media player. That's it. Also, I have to say this. This video was so long. I cut it in shorts and guys you may think we need internet for using this app not really you only need internet for downloading face fusion and its requirements especially models okay guys have fun and also don't use this program for any illegal purpose thanks for watching if you have any doubts let me know in comment section and don't forget to subscribe me